there, it's Steve from B&H Photo, and I'm here at NAB in 2015 with Rod Gammons of Rotolite, and he's gonna show us the new Neo. It's a pretty cool looking light, and it's water resistant. Sure is. Let's see, let's look at that a little bit. So this is the Rotolite Neo, uh, brand new for NAB, um, and a couple of very innovative things about this light. First, it's actually the brightest on-camera LED ever made. 1,077 lux at three feet. That's awesome. pretty impressive. It really is, you know, but, but what's nice about that is not only is it bright, but the color rendering is absolutely superb. So we're getting a, a CRI of 95, skin tone CRI of 99 out of 100. That's out of quite, LEDs? Out of LEDs. That's pretty impressive, but you know what's nice is, and I can see it here, it's not splotchy. It's a smooth light. It looks good on the face, which is really important. It really does, and, and that's due to the unique circular form factor that Rotolite light is known for. So we get that signature rotolite light catch light in the eye. A very, very soft output of light, completely shadowless. And so if you're doing ENG, photography, videography, or even you know, short filmmaking, it's a, it's a beautiful tool for you. I need more brightness out of it. What yep. can I get? We can go all the way up here to 1,077 lux. It gives me a really beautiful output and gives me that great catch light in the eye. It really does. And what's nice about this also is it's, it's a bicolor LED system. Now with a lot of bicolor lights, when you change color, you've got no idea what you're working with. With this, we can actually display the Kelvin right here to a 10 degree Kelvin accuracy. And what's my range? You can uh, adjust this all the way from 3150 uh, tungsten all the way up through 6300 in 10 degree Kelvin steps. That's good, that's really nice. Absolutely. And uses a lot of power. What am I, what am I using to power this? Uh, so we can run this off six double A's, and this is the other great thing, it's the most efficient, uh, again, on camera light on the market. So six double A's will give me three hours at full power, five to six hours at 50%. I can use lithiums, but I can also use rechargeables. Now I've also got an AC power option and detap straight to something like an Anton Bauer. And it's pretty weather resistant. We mentioned that before, because I see it's a lot of rubber and plastic guarding. That's right, so the light actually has an IP rating of 23, which means it will be protected from 45 degree angle of rain. The Porter Brace have also made a full weather cover, so if you're in torrential rain conditions, you can still work with the Neo, absolutely no problem at all. And I'm looking at this, and I see there's a little bit difference between the front of this and this guy here. You want to explain that for us? Yeah, absolutely. So the other great thing with this is the Neo, right off the bat, comes included with four filters. You get a half diffuser, a full diffuser, a 184 skin tone, and also a magenta. And it's a very simple, so we just have a locking filter system here on the front. These are all uh, Lee filter gels, so the best on the market and really simple to work with. And if you're one of those cameramen who's, I've got my special, I can cut my own to put it in here. Absolutely can, but the other great thing is we also have a 10-piece uh, Cine SFX filter pack that's been designed by Stefan Lang, who's worked on Batman and James Bond Skyfall. We've included things like rust, uh, you know, moonlight, so you know, it could do some really great creative effects, but there's a couple of additional great features in here I'd love right. to show you, actually. Please. Well, I see that there are some mounting points. I'm jumping ahead oh, here. Oh, please. But you got some mounting points on the side, you and do? I don't think that's, that's for attaching accessories. <laughs> it absolutely is. So uh, all the typical modifiers you'd expect, so barn doors, uh, Chimera making a beautiful little Chimera softbox for this. Um, and uh, yeah, we have, with the range of filters, you can really soften this down, um, which is great. The other great thing from the electronic point of view is if you double click the buttons on here, you access a, a, a new menu system in here. So hey, now you didn't show me that before. I didn't. So let me just show you a couple of the very cool features here. So. One of them is fade. So we actually have a designer fade feature. So let's say you're doing an interview, you want to fade this down. I can actually select the number of seconds. The light's now going to fade down for me over a custom period of time. Really, really brilliant for fade in and fade outs. Finally, if I just show you really quickly, we have true aperture dimming so I can show you the brightness of an f-stop, but also cine SFX mode. So I can do things like lightning. I can replicate things like fire. So let's say you're doing a music video uh, and you want to create some additional effects. It's a very, very cool light. Rod, it's amazing looking. And I wish we had a little more time to play with it because I really love that menu thing. Absolutely. But thanks for spending the time with us. So this is available at B&H Photo, of course. And thanks for watching.